G'day mate. Yena. Bear sucker the sav. Akadaka. Maccas. Crikey. Dead set. Hi guys. I'm Deb from Aussie Mail. This is our Chainmail tutorial channel. Hey guys, big hello, welcome, g'day, how are you going? Really good to see you here. Thanks for popping along and spending uh, some of your day with us. Today I'm going to do a project for our Mail It Minutes playlist. Um, it's a sweet, cheeky little pair of earrings uh, using the helm weave. So stick around. Okay, so here's a sample piece of the earrings that we're going to be making today. And popping up on the screen now will be um, the materials and tools that you'll need to make these earrings. Um, or I will have them listed down in the description tab for you. Okay, so we're going to start our weave today by closing up four of the smaller rings that we have. So go ahead and close up four of those now. And then once you have all four closed, take up your large ring and pop the four rings that you've just closed onto your large ring. Okay, close that up and repeat with a second large ring. Okay, so our work should look like this at the moment. We've got two large rings and four small rings. We're going to separate that out so that we've got a pair of small rings sitting on each side of our large rings. And then we want to take up another opened large ring and we're going to create the orbiting ring in the helm weave. And to do this, we're going to slip our large ring in between these two large rings here so we're not actually going through them, we're just slipping between them, popping out the other side and going uh, to encircle the small ring. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we bring it just in between, keep sliding all the way through till you pop out the other side. Okay, so we haven't actually gone through any rings there, we're just sitting in between the large rings that are already in the weave and then we're going to close that up. Okay, so this is an orbiting ring because it orbits around the small rings in the weave. It actually doesn't go through any rings. Okay, so once you've done that, we want to put another large ring through that end pair of small rings there, sitting on top of the ring that we just placed. We're going to close that up. And then we're going to flip our work over and we're going to do the same here on the other side of our piece with another large ring. Okay, so we go through there and we close that one up. So our work should currently look like this. Our next step is to take up one of our small rings and feed it through the pair of rings that we just added. Okay, so just straight through the middle of them, close it up, and then we want to double that ring. Okay, so we just simply put another ring through the same path. Okay, and we're back here again, where we want to place another orbiting ring. Okay, so we want to place our orbiting ring now. So again, as we did before, taking up a large ring, slipping it between the last pair of large rings in our piece, okay, just slipping it between them. We don't want to go through any of our rings. If you go through a ring, pull out and start again. All right, making sure it goes all the way through and encircles that last pair of small rings. And then close that up. And then with another large pair of rings, place one on one side of the ring you just added. Okay, 
turn your work over. Place one on the other side. Okay. And then we want to add another pair of small rings to our work. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. So there's one. Okay, so that's our section of helm at the moment. So we've got four sets of small rings in our work. What we want to do now is put an orbiting ring on each end of the weave. Okay, so just put it around as we have been doing. Okay, one on that end. Turn around and put one at the beginning as well. Okay, so that both ends have that orbiting ring in place. Okay, so that's what our work currently looks like. And what we do now is we want to join these ends together. So we're going to bring those two ends towards each other. And with a large ring, we're going to feed it through one pair of the small rings on that end and through the pair of small rings on the other end. Okay, we're going to close that up. We're going to flip our work over and we're going to do the same on the other side. Going through just those end pair of small rings on both ends and then coming in and closing your large ring up. Okay, so there you are. You've got your completed helm flower. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our head pin. We're going to pop on our large 10 millimeter bead. Okay, we're gonna pop that on. We're then going to put our piece of helm over the top. And we're going to grab our six millimeter bead. And we're going to put that on as well. We want to make sure that that six millimeter bead sits down in and snugs in between the mail. Okay, so it holds that mail all nicely in place. You can see that the bead sits down there inside the mail. The small bead is touching the large bead and keeping our chain mail piece in place. Now, if you've got a bead cap, you could pop a bead cap on now. Okay not completely necessary that is totally design up to you now what we want to do is just create um, a little bit of a loop here so i'm just going to create a little um, wrapped loop because i like the look of the wrapped loops so to do that i'm just going to grab very with my um, round nose pliers but you could do it with short nose pliers, whatever you've got. You only want them with a very fine nose. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that snug up against the bead and I'm going to push my wire away from us. I'm then going to wrap that wire around the bead, shift my pliers and wrap it all the way around so that I've got that little bit of a loop going on there. And then I'm just going to you can see I've got that little bit of a space there where the uh, pliers were sitting. I'm just now going to wrap the end of my head pin around until I've got all that nice and snug in there. And then once I'm happy with what it looks like, I'm going to go and cut that off. And then make sure that that's tucked in a little bit. Give it a bit of smush. And there you go. You've got your beaded or your mailed bead, beaded mail, whichever way you want to look at it. Okay, so to finish this up, we just want to take up one of our tiny rings here, whatever size tiny ring you want to use for the attachment. Put it through the loop that we just made but before you close, pop on your ear wire and then close 
it up. And there you go guys, you're finished. There's your petite fleur earring. This would actually make a really cute um, pendant as well. You could make these up and put these on a chain for a very nice simple pendant. Um, you could perhaps instead of putting a head pin in the bottom here, uh, you could put an eye pin down the bottom and then if you like your earrings longer, maybe a little bit of a tassel coming off or you could elongate this bit here, maybe stack a few of the smaller beads um, on top of each other. It's a, a very basic versatile unit that you could add your own little um, pizzazz to and uh, make the earring very much your own. Okay guys, well that's it. That's the tutorial for today. Hope you enjoyed the little project and that you love your earrings. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here at YouTube. Share the video if you like, leave comments or questions below. We love to hear from you guys. If you um, really love the video and you aren't a subscriber yet, then you know consider doing that. It really does help us and it gives us more encouragement to keep creating these videos for you. Also, while you're here, don't forget to check out some of our other videos. At the time of recording, there is well over 160 videos on our channels from beginners up to advanced. So you're sure to find something here that you like. And um, also, while you're here, don't forget to check out our link up here to our shop where we sell all the bits and bobs that you'll need to make this piece and many others. All right, guys, thanks a, a lot for coming along. Um, hope you enjoy your day and I'll catch you later. All right, bye now.